Some of you have been asking me about how to treat the wooden handle of uh, the chat on crucial knives. Um, there are different ways of treating it. Um, I find mineral oil or um, non, like oils that don't turn too rancid quickly, like nut oils I wouldn't use, um, but I would use any kind of natural oil, uh, grapeseed oil works pretty well. Um, here I have a couple of little drops of grapeseed oil and you'll see the handle as it is now. So from the manufacturing, it's um, it's polished, it's CNC routed and polished, and then uh, it's not treated. So if you want to treat it, um, I think oil probably is your best friend. Um, what you can do is, if you want to, you can just dip it in oil and just let it sit there overnight. Um, or just take a bit of oil and rub it on, and then um, let it soak in. And the wood, it's a hardwood. Um, it's Patagonian cherry or also called rosewood, but there's 400 different kinds of rosewoods. So um, uh, this is a sustainably harvested South American uh, rosewood, Patagonian cherry. Um, and it's a nice hardwood. It grows reasonably fast. Uh, there are some, um, hard, uh, some rosewoods that grow really, really slow. Some of them are on the um, protected list where you can't even exit the country and some of them are uh, very dark or very light or very red. This one here has a nice tone and when you oil it You'll see that it darkens a little bit okay. see comparison here. Um, And it'll darken over time too, um, especially if you use it with your hands uh, And you have some oil or grease or cooking stuff on your hands the wood will eventually darken right every wood does um, and With oil it'll protect it and then it'll give it a nice patina. Um, it'll give it a bit of a shine uh, and if it doesn't shine, it's because you haven't polished it enough. If you polish it, you realize, eh, now it's polished, now it's shiny. The oil will actually help it polish. So watch out. <coughs> so now maybe quick comparison, see? See that shine? But it doesn't feel oily. Just nice polish. And I think that personally is the best way to um, take care of the wood handle. Um, if you use hot, hot water to wash them, what wood does in general is when it gets wet um, it absorbs the water and it swells up and depending on what grain because this one here is carved where some parts of the grain might poke out a tiny tiny bit and it feels a little rougher and you're like yeah why is this rough um, so what you can do is just take a towel and rub it and it'll almost polish it off and it takes that little edge off if you use really hot water um, that effect might become strong. Right? If you put it in a dishwasher and the dishwasher is really, really hot, um, you'll realize that it'll start swelling and the swelling doesn't go away um, and it'll bleach because boiling water just makes wood very unhappy. Um, and it'll, uh, it might even warp and then it might become a wobbly handle and it's just not good. So don't use them in the dishwasher. Just hand wash them in lukewarm water, you're good to go. Uh, and then you can put the oil on like anytime you feel like it. Um, if you put it, if you dip it in oil and let it sit there and soak in, it'll probably darken more. Um, the oil might penetrate a little deeper. Um, and if you really want to saturate the oil or stabilize it, which you can do, um, which is not really needed, you can put it in a jar, put that one in a vacuum and put some resin in it that'll fill the gaps, the air gaps. Um, but that's completely over, overkill. One thing I've experimented with is with super glue, which is another thing um, that works reasonably well. Um, it seals it, um, but there's a the hazard of gluing your hands together. Um, but this is a very, very runny, not a gel, but very liquid super glue that I use. Um, I like this one. It's called hot stuff. And um, this stuff here is very low viscosity, so it, it runs like water. When you put it on, it just runs away. Um, so what you want to do is take a terry cloth that doesn't pilt. Um, you pour it on a little bit and then rub it in and rub it off. And you'll realize that it makes a super shiny surface. 
um, and it seals it completely, but it only surface seals it. The problem with surface sealing is that when you scratch it, it might uh, turn matte because you scratched it off. Um, if you use really hot water, super glue has the tendency to oxidize and turn white-ish, so it could become cloudy. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but I'm just assuming. And um, yeah, but super glue is, you know, with woodworkers tool as well, and it, it works pretty well. Um, some of you uh, may experience that the handle might be wobbly, um, which is very rare. If that's the case, I'm happy to send you a new knife because that shouldn't happen. But if it does happen, it might be because there's internal rivets and they clamp together, but around that is wood. And the wood has tendency to dry out in different climates. Right? Um, and if it's in a humid climate, um, it might swell. If it's in a, if it's traveling through dry climate by, while it's being shipped, uh, it might shrink. Um, so the tolerances on this knife are very, very um, tight. And everything should be like super nice. And it shouldn't wobble. But if it does, what you can do is you take some of that super glue and you really want that high viscosity, uh, the low viscosity glue, and you can pour some glue in there in case this is wobbling. Pour some glue in there and let it run through, let it drip. Let's see how it drips. And once it uh, stops seeping into that cavity, the space, then it's saturated. You take a cloth. You wipe it off and you see if there's no glue leaking out of anywhere, you really wipe it off and then you let it dry overnight. And that should really stabilize the handle, if that should ever happen. I've had two cases um, in 300 knives. So, it, you know, it can happen. Right, otherwise, I'm always happy to send you a new knife. No questions asked.